save every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Bring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so... Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're gonna look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria! Move your butt! Dumb bro does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word. A travesty. I work. Ah, at mira, it's my favorite no, lady. So look at for some fun. A little mm, and you for spank. Of hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Your lady. Hey, and then, maybe you, you should check out the way her body at the East you End of a lot of keys. Thanks, See you around. And enjoy. That's good stuff. Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. Come on, Fido, you want Many are called, but you are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? To happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have right, one delivered. You wait just here. log on to yeah. PetsOvernight.com oh, and we'll right? send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets... Four, five, all units. This is narcotic rate of penalty. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about banking. Oh, God, not another one. It's the only way to teach them rock and roll. So, you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I just need to understand that, bro. My daddy used to walk the car out of me. Get out of here. Look at me now. I'm the best pest control guy in the world. I killed all rats, roaches, and bombers, and 
imagine? And I love it. This is such a great country. I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had to beat me. That's... What are you talking about, man? I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. Let's go over this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration goes continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stuffer? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like... I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while. You, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. I don't know. I'll see you around. Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. You can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponzer Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponzer and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's gonna be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. Oh, man! Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time and play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of travel... Here comes our little friend. 
Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, amigo. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore is becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair. Every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a lion has two distinct advantages over you. I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, I'm naked. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? To fed you? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So then, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot weather in the chair for the cool wind in the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. 